Hey everyone, uh, this is Muscle420, uh, and I'm making a video kind of based upon uh, sort of like basically things that uh, have been requested of me. Um, mostly, um, people are asking me, "Hey Muscle, uh, what is uh, what, what add-ons are you using, um, and how are you getting certain information um, to, uh, for different trials, uh, for PvP, things like that." Uh, so I decided that I would make an add-on video uh, for you guys. Uh, this is my add-on list uh, for PC. So go ahead and stick around, and uh, it's coming up next. Okay, so uh, for for my add-ons for PC, uh, it's pretty um, it's a pretty extensive list. Uh, this is one of the this is honestly one of the most must-have um, add-ons that you you can get on PC. It's called the Bug Catcher. I would definitely recommend grabbing this add-on first before anything else. Uh, just make sure you have this add-on, especially if you're going to use a controller on PC. Uh, it's definitely going to make your life a whole lot easier. So we're going to go down. We actually have uh, Bandit's UI. Um, that's one of the first add-ons that I got when I was um, when I first started doing PC. So uh, one one of the really cool things about uh, Bandit's is that you can do this. You can. This looks really complicated. But it's really not. <clears throat> you can basically just move all the frames. Now I've already got all the frames exactly where I want them. Uh, but you can move them anywhere you want. Uh, this sort of cleans up the UI for me. Um, and this is how I like it. So that's kind of how I use bandits. And then uh, we can go in a little bit further here. All right, so this is a long, extensive list. Uh, I'm gonna go over all of them. So we've got action duration reminder. Action duration reminder um, is a really good add-on. It starts off with the frame kind of like right in the center of the screen. I moved it so it's kind of underneath my feet down here, um, which you can do. See how I have it right there? So it'll tell me like what needs to be recast or whatever, and it's all right here. It's kind of out of the way, but it's in a place where I can still see it. I've got advanced synergy. I don't have much of this on. Um, I haven't really messed with it, but it's a good one. Uh, this is kind of more for tanks. Also for Maelstrom and Black Rose Prison, you can use this to block um, all of these synergies. So if you turn it off, then uh, you won't be able to use any of these uh, synergies. You can turn on or off pretty much any of these uh, synergies. It's just a really good add-on. It allows you to sort of have some customization for what you can take. Uh, the Alkosh UI I don't use. Um, Major Slayer UI I don't use. Um, tracking I don't use. Uh, this is all stuff you can customize and set up yourself if you'd like to. This sort of, uh, I think this is more for like healers and stuff like that and tanks. I don't use it on my DPS. I just I have it though, just in case. Um, Alpha Gear is really good. Um, for whatever reason, Alpha Gear doesn't uh, doesn't show the buttons anymore. But it's basically right down here. It's this little icon. You click that, and then you go into a little interface where you can actually create builds for yourself that you can use. Um, Sort of on the fly, you can hotkey it. You can go into your um, your settings and then controls. Then you can hotkey stuff for your alpha gear, like this. Just got bandits, and then a little further down we have alpha gear. 
right here. I don't have any of it bound. I thought I did, but yeah, I, apparently I do, but they're just not. But anyway, um, so you can use that to adjust your add-ons in Alpha Gear. Asylum Tracker is really good. Um, Asylum Tracker sort of puts... Um, it allows you to track Lothus films and then kite and uh, the different actions that are there. Uh, the notifications will come up. Um, you can adjust their colors if you want. It doesn't like that's just it's for Asylum basically. It's not used for anything else but Asylum, but it's really good. Um, so I recommend definitely uh, definitely using this uh, if you're running Asylum Sanctorum. Azura is just another um, Azura is just another like UI mod. Um, Azura allows you to basically do the same thing, but this is for base games, so you can take and you can actually move the compass around. Um, you can move the tutorial box somewhere else. You can. I can't actually. I, I wish there was a way you could actually like take some of this off, because I would like to take this target health off completely uh, but I don't believe there's a way to do it um, I have kind of messed around with a lot of this stuff here um, but I haven't really figured out how to get all this to work right so I, I will be messing around with Azura a little bit more um, in the future and I'll, I might make a video on how to use Azura later later on in the future uh, so I got Black Rose Prison Helper now Black Rose Prison Helper um, is gonna be really nice um, less important notification an important notification is something very dangerous and then spawns um, so that's that's nice. You can have that uh, for like the different waves and stuff like that. Um, it 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 actually is very helpful. This little add-on here, Black Rose Prison Helper. So if you plan on doing Black Rose Prison at all, I would definitely recommend getting this. Bug catcher, um, bug catcher is interesting. Uh, do never, do not ever hit wipe all bugs because that will mess things up in a major way. It's just to provide strings of bugs um, here. A lot of them are from like controller usage and things like that. Um, so yeah, I, honestly, I just recommend getting this and letting it do its job. Don't ever wipe the bugs. I did it once and I regretted it because my game didn't work right after that. And there's a bug too with the pet. Um, when you're doing lazy Rick crafter and you have a source or a pet on it automatically unsummons and then you have a controller UI bug that happens every single time so uh, just keep that in mind try to run petless unless you absolutely need it uh, combat metrics uh, combat metrics is uh, definitely uh, definitely an add-on that I think anyone should get even PvPers, I think combat metrics is definitely a valuable add-on to have. Um, this definitely it shows you your fight history, shows you your damage taken, damage output. Um, it shows you what did what, um, how you died, your build, everything. It has everything in combat metrics. I would definitely recommend having this. Cooldowns is nice. Uh, cooldowns selects uh, it tracks cooldowns basically. So uh, if you have a monster set on, it will have a little monster set next to it, uh, which is nice. Um, it does, uh, it just shows you basically your cooldowns, so, uh, it's kind of a nice, um, kind of a nice little thing to have. You can select, like, a synergy or something, and you can have it track that cooldown for you. I have it on my tank. I track a few synergies on my, on my tank, but, uh, you don't need to, but I would definitely recommend, uh, if you plan on playing support roles to get this one. Daily Alchemy, really good. Uh, it's part of the crafting writs, um, so provisioning, daily alchemy, uh, both work together uh, in a nice, um, a nice fashion to help you uh, to get your writs crafted really fast. Um, I don't have any footage of me doing my writs today. I just got out of work and I decided to make this video on add-ons because I did get a couple of messages about that. So 
If you like this video, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, go ahead and uh, smash that like button. Definitely helps me out, uh, keeps me in the algorithm, and it allows me to keep making more content because I see the interest. Alright, so Destinations is next. Destinations is a really, really good add-on. Um, I think this is one of the better add-ons for uh, your compass. Uh, it it uh, it sort of puts it puts. It's just it's really hard to explain. Let me go ahead and uh, let me just show you. So destinations does something like this, where it, it um, you haven't discovered it yet, but it's still on your map. That's a map pins thing. That's another. Uh, but destinations kind of just makes it so the stuff you haven't discovered is. See how it's translucent? Haven't discovered it yet, but it's there. And you can go there and you know where you're going. So it's destinations in a nutshell. Uh, destinations works really well. It's a, it's a good add on. I definitely recommend using destinations. So let's see here. Dressing room works a lot with Alpha Gear. It works really well with Alpha Gear. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really figured out how to use it yet. But uh, once I do get it figured out, uh, I'll probably start using this with Alpha Gear. Uh, Gray Skull is really cool. It shows you your spell damage. Um, you can mess around with it a little bit, but really it's just a little box. Um, uh, right here. So that shows my current spell damage and um, like the more spell damage I get it'll show. It'll show like your current spell damage. So in my opinion that's that's really cool. It's just a quality of life add-on. Harvest map is good. Harvest map kind of shows you things like check this out. Uh, harvest map makes it so when you harvest stuff like when I was farming for Mother Sorrow uh, <clears throat> it shows everything that you've harvested, including treasure chests. So you will have a map of every single treasure chest that you've found in the game uh, for you to access. Which in my opinion is uh, very, very, very cool. Hide elements. Uh, so, I've tried this. It doesn't work. Not the way I'd like it to anyway. Um, so, I, I don't really, I can't say I recommend this add-on, but maybe they'll get it to work at some point. And at that point, then I would recommend it because then you can hide certain things. Like, I, I didn't want my boss bar... I didn't want the brackets, and I didn't want text being shown on my screen. However, it's still there. So, not sure if that works or not. Hodor is a um, recommended raid add-on. Uh, Hodor is definitely an add-on that most groups, if not all groups, on the PC uh, for raiding, trials, things like that, they all um, have it. It's recommended that you have this add-on. And you need to be sharing your DPS if you're a DPS dealer. You need to be sharing your war horns and your whatever's if you're a support. So that's... <clears throat> and then they have like different ways you can do this. And you have to donate some money or gold or whatever. Um, improved locations. So this is uh, another one of those location add-ons. I don't really know if this one works or not because I have so many add-ons this one might work and I don't remember who I was recommended uh, who recommended this uh, to me but anyway um, I personally maybe wouldn't get this unless you absolutely need it for another add-on kill counter uh, kill counter is kinda cool I think this is the yeah this is the PvP one so you can um, you can <laughs> adjust this for PvP, and then it will uh, 
it'll track stuff for you. Um, as you can see, uh, we've got uh, a list of all the people we've killed <laughs> in the game. So, so far, um, so I've I've uh, killed all these people several times in PvP so far. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. And then I've been killed by these people. So, um, interesting. Uh, just a fun little PvP add-on for you. <laughs> Alright, and uh, Lazy Rit Crafter is kind of a... You kind of need this add-on if you plan on doing Rits, which is a really good way to, uh, to make gold um, in ESO as well. Uh, is to uh, create writs, things like that. So, <laughs> or do writs, excuse me. So this this kind of has a whole bunch of fun stuff in it that you can uh, you can mess around with. And really, if you're coming from console, this is a godsend. So loot log is interesting. I don't really know um, exactly why this add-on was was developed. However. Um, this <laughs> this tells you what other people get um so if <laughs> if the whole group is farming for something now everyone's got this add-on too so don't feel bad about downloading it because literally everyone has it um if if someone gets something that you want um uh, you can set this thing to automatically whisper them or whatever um but i don't recommend it and the reason why i don't recommend it is because uh some people get pretty defensive about their stuff, including me. Like, uh, I say get your hands out of my pockets, you know? Like, uh, if, I if I'm going to give something up, I will link it. <laughs> so, moving on from Loot Log. We're going to Lore Books. Lore Books is really nice. Uh, this can be replaced by a different add-on, though. You don't actually need this add-on. Um, the add-on I'm talking about is Map Pins. Uh, you can get Map Pins, and then everything... You don't need anything else besides Map Pins, believe me. Uh, but lore books is what the OG add-on. Uh, it's a lot of the reason why people um, who get into PC love it so much, because Mage's Guild is a real grind, and um, you know lore books kind of makes it really easy to find your lore books, and it just shows you where they are, and they disappear off the map once you find them too. But map pins, map pins is so much better. Look at map pins. Look what it does. Ancestral Tombs Hunter. This is for an achievement. Uh, you can get your uh, your your rubbings, your tomb rubbings. That's another achievement. So much to do. Um, map pins is ridiculous, man. I I recommend map pins. I didn't even know about map pins until I was told about it. It also shows you your treasure chest locations, like this little icon here. So your treasure chest, and then it will show you stuff like this too. Map pins shows you like. Um, Things like Finding Maik, The Liar, um, The Light, I forget what it's called, Lightbringer or something like that, The Achievement, um, just lighting campfires for people, you can find that as well, oh, man, that's a, that's a really cool add-on. So, Lost Treasure, Lost Treasure is a treasure map add-on, now check this out, it works a lot like, um, it works a lot like your surveys. It works the same way. So surveys and stuff like that. Well, let's see if I can find one. Not in there. Yeah, right here. So I don't hunt these down. I hate treasure maps because they're lame. But um, they don't give anything good. That's part of the reason why I don't like them. But this is what it does. If you have a treasure map in your inventory, it puts an X right where it's supposed to be. Uh, you go to that X and there it is. You don't have to study the map like you do on console to find it. So I think that's a really cool add-on. A lot of my add-ons are quality of life. Mini-map. Right here. Enough said. Um, you can adjust... Like how far it zo Oh, excuse me. How far it zooms out. How far it zooms in. You can lock it. You can reload it. And you can open up the mini-map settings. And mini-map settings are basically right here. You can adjust the size of position. 
the mode. I like the square one. You can actually make it. Um, you can make it look different if you want to. There's there's ways you can mess around with it. Um, I don't do too much with this, to be honest. It's just it is what it is, and I use it for that. <clears throat> Raid notifier, uh, very very good add-on. Uh, raid Notifier is amazing. You need this, uh, it's very good. It has things for all the raids. Uh, when to block, when to dodge roll, uh, what mechanics coming out, everything. It'll give you your colors notification, just everything. It gives you everything. So, um, I recommend if you're you're um, like a trial guy or a trial girl, uh, get this. Renotifier. Super good. Sororia, specifically for tracking Sororia. <laughs> Basically. Uh, this was more important when you had to get 20 stacks. Nowadays, it's not so important, but it definitely helps you keep 100% uptime on Sororia. Sky Shards, another one of those really cool add ons when I first started playing on PC. But now um, Sky Shards is kind of outdated, and it's uh, it's not used um, as much anymore. Map pins is what's used now. Um, synergy. Uh, so you can uh, disable synergies if you'd like to in Trials. This is another kind of synergy disabling or synergy available thing I get it for tanks uh, you don't really need it though it's not it's not super important it's just quality of life and then writ worthy uh, so this is uh, this is kind of for your master writs and things like that um, so if you're if you have a master writ then you can definitely uh, it'll that'll sort of tell you if it's worth crafting or not that's what the add-on is specifically for um, let's see if I have anything else here. Yeah, just Scoot Works. So Scoot Works is kind of... Oops. I guess my game must, must have froze up. But anyway, Scoot Works uh, just works with uh, the... Whoa, hello. Um, Scoot Works uh, works with... Uh, you know, everything else. So uh, not, not everything else. Scoot Works works with... Um, shoot, what is it? It's that one loot one that let, lets everyone see what you got. I forget what it's called. Shoot. Loot log. That's it. Scoot Works works with loot log. It's like the same thing. So, um, now that we're in this... I had Srendar. I didn't like it, so I disabled it. Some people like it. Some people swear by it. I don't like it. I think it's trash. Um, so I don't get it. I also disabled Untaunted. I don't need that at all either. Uh, that's for, I think that's for new tanks. But if you want it, uh, I would definitely recommend trying it out anyway. Um, and then, let's see. This is one of the best ones, though, for quality of life. Map pins. Get this bat on. This is so good. And I think that's pretty much it. And also, Destinations is good. I think we went over that. Constellations is good, but it's kind of... I could probably disable that one honestly like constellations isn't like a needed thing but anyway that's my uh, add-on list that I use here uh, for PC if you like this video uh, and you're not already consider subscribing I would definitely uh, appreciate that if you want more videos like this um, for like quality of life reviews things like that for ESO let me know I'm definitely interested to hear uh, what you have to say about uh, add-ons and things like that in the comments. And as always, uh, you take care. This is Muscle420, signing out. See you later.